And the question Alexi asked me was, does the halting problem have a black hole? You know? And so if we take, say, the standard model of Turing machines, it's a one-way infinite tape with zeros and ones on the tape, and so on the head moving back and forth, and you know, it stops when it gets into the halt state, then it turns out we proved that there is a black hole. And what that means is there's a computer procedure that decides correctly almost every instance of the halting problem. Even though the halting problem is not decidable, we can decide almost every instance. So more precisely, there's a collection of Turing machine programs such that we can easily decide whether a program's in that collection or not. And for the programs in the collection, uh, we can decide the halting problem for those programs easily. And furthermore, Almost every program is in the collection in the sense that as the number of states goes to, you know, becomes large, the proportion of programs in the collection goes to 100%. So the asymptotic density of the programs is one.